We hear a lot about great players who had amazing careers but never won the NBA championship. Charles Barkley, Steve Nash, John Stockton and Karl Malone. To be on this list is obviously not pleasant, but I'm willing to take it a one step further. Hello people, I'm Purple Prince and I'm here to tell you about Tom Van Arsdale, the best player to never make the playoffs in the NBA. Before we start digging deeper into Tom Van Arsdale's career, I think it's worth to mention another name that could have been the hero of this video, and that's Geoff Petri. Geoff Petri was a 6'4", 190 pound guard who arguably had a better career than Tom Van Arsdale, and also didn't make the playoffs. Geoff Petri was a two-time All-Star, 1971 Rookie of the Year and averaged 21.9 points for his career. Those are better numbers and he didn't make the playoffs even once. The problem is, because of injuries, he played just six seasons in the NBA and was forced to retire at age 27. Who knows what could have happened if he had a full career or at least five more years. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. With that out of the way, let's go to Tom Van Arsdale. Tom Van Arsdale was born in Indianapolis, Indiana on February 22, 1943. In three years for Indiana University men's basketball team, Tom averaged 17.4 points and 10 rebounds. That was enough to be selected with the 11th overall pick in the 1965 NBA Draft by the Detroit Pistons. In two and a half seasons with the Pistons, Van Arsdale averaged 10.2 points and 3.8 rebounds before being traded to the Cincinnati Royals where he would enjoy the finest time of his career. In his first full season with the Royals, Van Arsdale averaged career-high 39.7 minutes per game, 19.4 points and 4.6 rebounds. But that was just the start. For the next three years, Tom Van Arsdale would make the All-Star team three times in a row. Two times he broke the 22 point mark for the season, averaging 22.8 and 22.9 points for consecutive seasons, and two times he averaged more than 6 rebounds. After three seasons of being an NBA All-Star, Van Arsdale fell out of favors for the new Kansas City Omaha Kings franchise. His minutes went down to just 26.2 minutes as well as did his averages to 12.4 points and 3.5 rebounds. Mid-season, Van Arsdale was traded for the second time in his career, this time to the Philadelphia 76ers. In Philadelphia, he would regain his all-star form, averaging 19.6 points in his first full season for the 76ers. But after just one and a half seasons with the Sixers, Van Arsdale was traded to the Atlanta Hawks. In his first season with the Hawks, Tom Van Arsdale averaged 18.9 points, but next season he was playing much less. After two years in Atlanta, Tom Van Arsdale joined the Phoenix Suns for a chance to play with his identical twin brother, Dick Van Arsdale. At the time, both brothers were 33, both were role players, and for both this would be the final season in the NBA. For his career, Tom Van Arsdale played in 929 NBA games, averaging 30.9 minutes, 15.3 points and 4.2 rebounds. You notice how I didn't mention anything about postseason? Well, that's because Tom Van Arsdale didn't participate in any postseason games. He was close to making postseason for a couple of times, but never did it. Tom Van Arsdale currently holds records of most career games played without a playoff appearance, with that being all his 929 career games. With 14,232 points, Van Arsdale is also the highest scoring player to never make the playoffs as well. Hey, but on the bright note, he got to play with his brother. Thank you very much for watching guys. Why do you think Tom Van Arsdale never made the playoffs? Do you think he didn't have enough help or he himself wasn't that good to carry a team to the playoffs? Whatever your thought is, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the content, please drop a like on this and other videos. To not miss any upcoming videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and enable those bell notifications. And be a great dude, don't let others miss my videos. Share this video with your friends. Thanks. This was Purple Prince and I'm out.